Uh, thanks for tuning in once again. In this episode of Home Robotics, I'll be showing you how I made this uh, RC airboat. And you'll get to see all the mistakes I made in between. Hope you enjoy. During my last relocation, the removalist broke my RC sailboat, so I decided to give it an upgrade. So initial tests looked pretty promising. I was happy there was enough thrust, uh, but I wasn't really sure about that keel and the counterweight. Um, so as you see on the water, it was uh, holding it behind. So uh, not enough waterproofing was it performed, so there's a bit of water going inside. Generally stable, however it seems very underpowered at this stage. So what I'd uh, discovered was the keel was actually holding it down, so the hull was making contact with the water all the time. And of course that's not how boats work. You'll see boats, as soon as they start moving forward, they lift off the water very slightly. Um, sailboats are designed to stay close to the water as much as possible. So I added an improved panel with a better access hatch so you can uh, fix the waterproofing problem and then uh, went out again. This time around the water wasn't very choppy, it was pretty still, so this gave us a really good idea of how well the boat will perform. So nice still water, really good waterproofing, but still underpowered. It was this stage I decided I'm going to remove the counterweight keel and just put two um, foam bits on the side to stop it from listing over. That way I have both stability and speed. And there's my two bits of uh, foam either side. And then back in the water for another run. The boat was marginally quicker, however still a little bit unstable when I turn, so every time it turns the water applies resistance to the uh, foam bits on either side and slows down a lot. still seems underpowered. It's not actually the boat's fault, but was designed to sail, which means it has to make contact with the water all the time. And that doesn't really work for us because we're trying to get speed. You probably noticed it by now, this boat is not designed for speed, so I decided to build one on my own from scratch. Uh, this is your standard of three pontoon designs, so two in the front, one in the back with just a fan. Uh, my design, I, I didn't use anyone else's plan or put too much thought, I just wanted to get something going in the water that was built by myself and had some sort of speed. Um, in this case here, anything that was touching the water was sharpened. Uh, and it came down to an angle as you can see there and a bit of smoothing and um, painting towards the end. I did to recycle the rudder control and the servo from the sailboat so it does have some heritage however everything else was from an RC aeroplane. Really quite happy initially with the stability and the speed. However, I didn't feel those side pontoons that are empty. So, as you can see, they were slowly filling up with water the faster I went. Once again, the hull wasn't smooth. The faster I went, the more water went inside those pontoons. So eventually it became a little bit too heavy, and then boom, here we go. Terrible engineering. So from here of course, I decided to do what I should have done earlier on, was fill out the pontoons.
chest run number two, this time with my son Nathan at the helm. There is absolutely no way that he's going to capsize now. Speed is good, maneuverability is good, but there's always something you don't plan for. You'll see in a minute. Oh, careful, careful, careful. No, no. The boat was stuck on the buoy and it wasn't going anywhere. And I couldn't reverse, of course, because the ESC is from an aeroplane. You don't reverse an aeroplane. So we left it there and I thought, nah, move on. There you go. Safe and sound. Survived hours of being in the sun. So it looks like it may have drifted all the way from over there. To this corner right here. So all is not lost. Ugh. We'll just see if it's taking any water. Ugh. No, still pretty dry and clean. We'll just disconnect the battery. And we'll take it back. One, three, two, one. Go, go Nathan. That's all right, push it back. That's really good. Go further, Nathan. <laughs> 